I always think looking for certainty is a way harder than the craft itself um, because it's much harder to see the progress. It's less tangible. Hi guys, how are you? Uh, today's video is going to be another coffee chat. And then today we have a warmer here. <laughs> So, as usual, you can put me in the background when you're doing chores because I'm not going to put an insert in this video. Uh, so, in that way, you can save you some time. And in the, today's video, I want to kind of chat about certainty, uh, especially certainty for a creator. Um, I don't know about you, but personally, I feel comparing to the craft itself, it's much more difficult to uh, build up the sense of certainty for myself as a creator so I can keep up with the consistency of working on what matters to me which in this case is the craft itself. Before we're going to start a video, uh, if you are new here, thank you for subscribing to my channel and supporting my video. Uh, my name is Nani, I'm a writer director based in Los Angeles and uh, my film is released this year uh, on Apple TV, Amazon, Vudu or VOD platform so if you want to check it out I will put the watch link down below. Uh, uh, thank you for supporting my film and my YouTube channel and um, let's grab your coffee and then start this video. Um, so recently I was reading a book. Uh, it's a very controversial book. Uh, there are people asking me about the book on um, Instagram and um, I really liked the most of the content about this book because I love uh, the way the writer um, thinks um, but she is a very controversial uh, figure uh, she is a spiritual teacher and then talk about very extreme things uh, but in her sense um, she her content helped me to look into a lot of things in detail in a deeper manner and uh, I find it's very helpful for me to build personal awareness and uh, it's this book um, Shadow Before Down and uh, I couldn't get this book I think I um, eventually found this book from a UK library and then um, bought overseas but I think you can still uh, borrow this book digitally from most of the library um, at least I know Los Angeles uh, library has it um, anyway, um, so while I was reading the book, there was a, a section talking about the things that people need in order to survive, in order to feel the fulfillment of life. Um, one of the most t important thing is certainty, and then that got me to think about uh, the certainty I've been seeking this whole time throughout my filmmaking career and then um, realized that uh, all the struggles that I put myself up with are major majority of the time is the need of a certainty. In the book, it breaks down a healthy way and unhealthy way of seeking certainty. Uh, without certainty, uh, we creating and build up a fear around us and uh, I don't have to say this, but being a artist, a writer, a filmmaker, especially like in this whole film industry, the uncertainty is so strong that this whole industry is kind of like a mysterious environment. And the door is not shut towards us, but it appears to be. Um, so I feel most of the time when people decide to give up, on this path of becoming a filmmaker. The thing that held me back is the uncertainty. Uh, not that they are not talented, not they don't know what to do, how to make a movie, but it's they were not sure how to, if their dream can become true or how uh, they can so sure that their dream can become true. And then 
here it comes to looking for the certainty of artistic career. Um, in the book, she mentioned about a healthy way of creating the certainty, and then she is more uh, writing in a way that, in general, for overall for uh, human life itself, not like all aspect of life, not just for her artistic career. Uh, I wrote it down. I'm going to share with you uh, the unhealthy way that she was talking about. Uh, one is demanding other to provide certainty. Uh, a lot of time we demanding um, in a relationship about how people should treat us, how we should be treated by our friends or family. And um, and the second is destructive activities. Uh, in this sense, uh, in a sense of overall life, it could be, um, you know, gambling, um, doing drugs and alcohol abuse, things like that. The third thing could be uh, develop a negative identity. Uh, once we develop a identity that's negative we're expecting the worst of ourselves so that kind of build up some certainty for us like well I'm not gonna do good anyway so whatever I do I'm certain I'm not gonna be good I hope that makes sense so that's what she wrote in general for life itself um, but that got me to think that we also do similar things um, unhealthy way looking for certainty for our creativity, uh, creative career. Um, for example, demanding other providing certainty for us. In our career, we might demanding the social environment change, we might de demanding the film industry change to provide more opportunity for us, or the education system change which is supposed to be, but um, we demand as if it doesn't change, we won't succeed. Um, or we demand um, things like maybe our family is not rich enough to support our art career, or our um, surrounding environment, uh, friendship, people around us is not supportive for our artistic career and um, that demand create an uh, unhealthy certainty for us. It's this kind of thoughts that as if I'm like I'm it's like I'm certain I'm not going to make it because I was not supported because the educating system is bad because um, my family is not rich. Uh, I hope that makes sense. And then second Destructive behavior, destructive activity is actually one of the biggest one that we commit. Commit, that's a very serious word. Uh, we commit to um, use to uh, provide unhealthy uncertainty for ourselves as an artist. Uh, the top one probably would be uh, binge watching Netflix or scrolling on the phone. Uh, and that's how we procrastinate as well because subconsciously we, we choose to do those things uh, in order to feel the sense of certain that I am not going to succeed in my career or I'm not going to create a good project because I not because I'm not good enough but because I wasn't spending time on it I was on my phone, I was on social media, I was binge watching Netflix. And then that kind of created that sense of certainty for us. Even it's unhealthy, even it's not the goal we want to achieve, or even it's opposite of the goal we want to achieve. Uh, but it still creates that sense of certainty of not getting it things done for us. Uh, and then third, developing a negative identity uh, of ourselves. We do that all the time. Uh, I mean, even I was consciously trying so hard to work on my myself, but 
there are here and there are some times I split second have um, some awareness of negative thoughts about myself um, negative in a way that I'm not good enough um, maybe I'm not talented enough or maybe um, um, I don't have uh, what it takes to uh, succeed in film industry or I'm lazy I think that's a big one just I'm lazy um, those negative image of myself kind of provide that unhealthy certainty for myself uh, that allowed me to use it as an excuse for not doing the work or for not succeed almost like I'm expecting myself being lazy I'm expecting myself to be not good enough and then in that way I'm certain I'm not going to make it I hope that makes sense and all of those processes it's super subtle it's very subconscious it's those kind of feeling that give us those very depressed and nag nagging feeling in the back of our head um, we have to really sit still or even journaling about it in order to kind of get um, a sense of awareness float, floating to the surface um, that I'm gradually aware that's what we are doing um, and then once you gain more clarity about how you are providing yourself unhealthy certainty um, that's when things start getting a little bit easier for you that's when it's easier for you to change uh, the course of your behavior so uh, I want to uh, kind of based on the book and then my own experience share with you certain things that how to seek certainty in a healthy manner uh, and I think that's one of the most difficult thing to practice but yet it's actually very easy um, it's just take um, it's just something that you take a consistency to gradually compound and then build up instead of uh, overnight change or overnight success uh, so I think the difficult part is not actually doing it but doing it every single day uh, that's why I always think looking for certainty is a way harder than the craft itself um, because it's much harder to see the progress it's less tangible um, so the healthy way of seeking certainty first is create a healthy routine uh, that's why there's so many all kinds of like routine videos online I think people somehow subconsciously know that they need a good routine in order to kind of build up the momentum for uh, becoming an artist or being an artist or creating their project but to build and then maintain the healthy routine it's quite difficult like sometimes I have my healthy routine for months and then all of a sudden because some um, interruption from some events or stuff or projects that's going on I lost my routine immediately and it's hard to get back on track again and uh, usually what I do is I put things back one by one uh, a little at a time so for example a while ago because of my film release I lost track of all my routine everything is a mess so the thing I'm gradually putting back is reading uh, in the beginning of the day and then towards the end of the day um, as well as writing to-do list in my journal again uh, so that's the two thing I gradually put back in there and um, every now and then I will add another thing in there but once I feel overwhelmed I will subtract that task for example I started doing um, morning pages but it's impossible for me to do every day because of my job so I try to put that part of the routine back into my system um, 
when I feel comfortable with it. I'm not letting myself stress over that. I hope that makes sense. So building a healthy routine is a very slow process. And uh, I think the key is never trying to write down the whole entire day routine and do them all and expecting you to do that every single day from now on. Um, I think it's, it's more like maybe this three weeks I'm only going to add on building the routine of reading in the morning and the next three weeks I'm going to add on writing to-do lists for next day uh, things like that just add on each single piece a little at a time I hope I make it sense um, and then the second is develop a belief system that serves us um, this works for our lives and also works for being an artist because there are so many belief systems in the world people always uh, fighting against each other about their own belief system I more believe in that everybody have their own personal truth and um, it's a matter of how we see things and how we choose to see things one event happen in our life or one circumstance present in front of us we always have the opportunity to choose how we're going to view it um, so that's something I'm always very intentional to practice uh, I want to view the circumstance in front of me in a way that I know will be healthy and supportive towards my career. For example, I have a day job um, and the, the day job is a way of financially supporting my career, filmmaking career, but that's not my career itself. Sometimes my day job gets very overwhelmed. It's a lot of work to do. Uh, any working environment, there will be a um, situation going on. In the very beginning stage, I had very difficult time to deal with those things because my mind would think, I want to be a filmmaker, why am I here at this day job dealing with those conflicts? Uh, why those conflicts have to happen? I don't want to deal with them. That kind of belief made me have resistance towards what's happened to me. Uh, resistance towards what is and um, because the resistance tend to stay with you longer and then it will ru ruminate in your mind and I carry that into my life at home my life when I supposed to write the screenplay when I supposed to create in my projects and then that effect on my project itself, my personal time that's supposed to be reserved for my film. Um, so in order to uh, consciously choose a belief system that works for me, uh, I have to go inwardly, carefully think about it, what's the purpose of having the day job, and constantly remind me that uh, day job is day job my artistic work filmmaking career is my filmmaking career they are separate things but at the same time i should view my day job as part of the goal of my filming filmmaking career it's the financial support of that as simple as that that's it so mentally i don't need to involve with the day job as much I can promise I will do my role well at a day job to fulfill uh, what's supposed to be done in my role but I need to set a very clear boundary about that and remind myself any environment will have difficulty and conflicts that's just part of the life and accepting what is and then remind myself I'm there and I'm getting paid and then that money will go towards my filmmaking um, and then that belief system kind of give me a sense of relief I don't carry the resistance towards the conflict at day job nor trying to change any situation at a day job because my belief 
uh, let me know that this part of life at a day job、uh, is not my focus, and that I should reserve my energy to my film. I hope that makes sense. And then that brought a huge peace around me,、um, and I feel much more present even when I go to work at a day job, and I get my work. Work done even better. At the same time, I'm much more present when I'm at home,、uh, doing my creativity, career, and working on my project.、Uh, so that's what I mean by developing belief system that serves us. Another example of that is could be things like maybe we always have some. Doubts about this society, about this film industry, about how tight the door is, and how hard to make it.、Um, the belief of、uh, film industry is very difficult to get in. I don't think it's a very helpful belief system. It's not a div- belief system will serve me and my goal. If my goal is to get in, I should. Start looking into the evidence of why it is easy to get in, why it will work for me.、Uh, for example, there will be so many different kind of fellowships, film festivals, and so many open opportunities, and、um, those are the opportunities for me to get in. Or, for example, people will have a belief of how it's difficult for female filmmaker to get in. Um, but if you turn that around to think in a way that serves you or your goal, it would be looking into the evidence of how today it's easier for film、uh, female filmmaker to get in. All kinds of female filmmaker groups, uh, um, organizations, and the female、uh, film festivals, uh, female uh, fellowship opportunities. And all of a sudden, you realize there are much more opportunity than you think, and also it made me realize the barrier is not there's no no way to get in. The barrier is there are several ways. It's whether or not I'm creating and writing my script and then deliver to those fellowship organization places. To let them see my work, let them judge my work, and if they say no, I can go back to work on my craft again and、uh, have another script delivered to them. So that's when the belief starts supporting me. It makes me realize the problem is not outside of me, but it's my craft itself. As long as I'm keep writing, I have something to present. There will be people reading them, and there will be opportunity. Uh, so that's the belief system that works for me. Number three is developing consistency in our lives.、Uh, consistency is probably the most difficult thing.、Um, I don't know if you can hear my background.、Uh, there is people、uh, cutting grass outside, so excuse the sound, bad sound. Anyway,、uh, so the consistency, I think, it's the most difficult thing. To do, but it's the most powerful and helpful things to do. All we need to do is to have the experience, or even have a taste of what consistency can change for us. How、uh, when we consistently doing the same thing over and over, and、uh, that can gradually compound and build up to the goal that we want to achieve, and、um, that's. The reason it's hard because it's so subtle each day, and it's hard to see the result.、Um, but、uh, as long as you try, even just in one area of your life, and then you see the result of it, and that's when you can gradually、uh, believe in consistency even more,、uh, and then it's much easier for you to keep being consistent. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense. And then speaking of that,、um, this is the book I mentioned many times, "Slight Edge," uh, by uh, Jeff Olson.、Uh, this is the book that I mentioned many times in my channel that completely、um, helped me to have a 
different view about compound effect in our life and、uh, how consistency works for us, and、uh, how consistency also bring us to the unhealthy direction as well.、Um, so I highly recommend you check out Slide Edge this book.、Um, it's one of my favorite book because、uh, it does. Uh, have a huge impact on me, and then building that consistency is when we certainly know that it might take a long time, but it's certain we will achieve the result that we want because we keep working on it day by day.、Um, so that's one way of seeking certainty. And then、uh, the last, the fourth way of seeking certainty is to choose to be around people that provide that or enhance that certainty for us, or choose to consume content that enhance the certainty for us. So if you consume content that serves towards your goal,、uh, contents for example like watching this video, it might help you to get. A better sense of certainty can feel more stable internally. Can help you get a little bit of reassurance towards your goal, and、uh, also around you with people who have similar goals, who have similar pursuit, and those people can help you to get a sense of you are not heading towards that direction alone, or even surrounding you with the people who have already made it.、Um, As a ordinary people,、uh, surrounding you with people who never had the privilege to, you know, have a lot of money to make a movie or have the privilege to even go to film school, but they already made it, become a successful filmmaker. Trying to make friends with those people because their story will create the certainty for you and、uh, kind of help you along the way to reassure. Uh, your belief system. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I think this pretty much it. I want to share with you.、Uh, I think we should all have the awareness and、uh, trying to work on our、uh, certainty towards our artistic career, filmmaking career、uh, more. Yeah, I hope you like the content. I truly hope it's helpful for you, and then maybe this video can help you. To gain a little bit of certainty towards your goal and your dream,、um, yeah, and help you have a wonderful weekend. Remember to check my film out and be patient, be present, stay creative. I'll see you next week. Bye. Beep.